Peace ladies, welcome back to the Modern Goddess channel. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you seven things you can do to start improving your relationship. I am making this video for the ladies that acknowledge that you have a good, mature, masculine man in your life. He does right by you, he treats you well, but you're starting to hear him say more and more that you do not respect him enough, you don't value him enough, you don't appreciate him enough, and maybe you're just unsure about what you can do differently. Maybe you don't really know what you're doing wrong. And as a result of that, you're starting to see that he's becoming less and less patient with you. The communication is getting worse, or maybe there isn't much communication at all anymore. There is a lot of distance between the two of you now, and the chemistry is off, the intimacy is off. And so hopefully if you can implement these things now and do so consistently, you'll start to see some noticeable changes in your relationship. So the first thing that you can do is start leading with femininity in areas that you know masculinity would only make worse. I'm going to give you an example of what that might look like in a relationship. Let's say your man comes home and he gives you a short brief what's up and he doesn't really say much more to you. He isn't very open. He isn't very affectionate. He just goes off about his business. He's, he seems quiet. He seems reserved. He seems a little guarded. He's shut down. He seems distant. Many women will notice something like that and they'll assume he's acting that way because of them. And so instead of them leading with their femininity, they will take a more masculine approach and they'll compete with that masculine energy. They'll match that energy by two becoming distant and cold and rigid and guarded and that hyper independence will be triggered and then they'll start just focusing on themselves and I don't really need him and I'm gonna just let him do his own thing I'm gonna do my own thing having that type of energy which just causes more separation more detachment and masculinity again it does not help it only makes that worse because now both of you are going without what you need. Both of you have a void. Neither one of you feel loved. Neither one of you feel like you're cared for in that moment. Both of you feel alone, even though you're right there together. The only thing that would make a situation like that better is feminine energy, is that closeness, is that bonding, is that communication, is that consideration, that concern, that care, that compassion. You walking up to him and saying, hey, babe, I notice you're not yourself today. I notice your mood is a little off. Are you OK? Give him a kiss. Rub him on the shoulder that is you leading with your femininity and then that way you both can have what it is you want you want the connection you want to feel loved and cared for you will have that but if you bring in masculine energy that is only going to give you a horrible result I'll give you another example let's say the two of you are having a conversation things become a little heated his tone becomes a little forceful. His words may become a little harsh. And I'm not saying that he's like blatantly being disrespectful to you or anything because I do not condone that at all. But he's, he's serious and he's direct and he wants you to really understand what it is he is trying to get across, right? Many women will hear that and still become very intimidated. And again, they will start to match that masculine energy and they will respond in a way that is either combative or condescending or dismissive or aggressive or cold and they will give more masculine energy when again that only makes things worse because now you have two people that are combative two people that are being competitive two people that are more concerned with making their point and proving the other person wrong than they are with hearing each other and understanding each other what is missing in that equation is feminine energy what is missing is the love, the compassion, the understanding, the cooperation, the softness, the gentleness. That is what's missing. And so when you lead with your femininity in a situation like that, your man will act accordingly because masculinity does not compete with femininity. Masculinity is not aggressive towards femininity. But if you're giving him masculine energy, then yes. He is going to feel like he has to compete with that or he's just going to completely leave you alone, right? So leading with your femininity looks like you embracing the feminine role in situations that, again, you know masculinity is only going to make worse. And that is usually during um, times of conflict. You bring in what's missing. Now, the issue that many women have with leading with their femininity is that it requires you to lower your guard. It requires you to lower your, your, your pride and your ego some. It requires you to surrender. Surrender does not mean defeat, right? But it requires you to give in and just say, you know what? I don't want to fight. I don't want to be cold. I don't want to be hard and tough in this moment. 
I want this connection. I want this love. I want my man right now, right? And so a lot of women have issues with that because when they do that, I had a client once tell me that it seems like whenever she leaves with her femininity, it seems like she's being the bigger person. And you can call it that if you want to, but in essence, sometimes maybe that is exactly what it is. And it's okay because your man is going to be the bigger person in many situations that require him to lead with his masculinity. I'll give you an example of that. Let's say there's a situation where he needs to protect you. He's not going to look over at you and say, oh, she's not being brave right now. And so I'm not going to be brave right now. No, he's going to step up and be the quote unquote bigger person. And he's going to lead with his masculinity despite what you are doing right? Another situation. Let's say there's a problem that needs to be solved or something that needs to be fixed. He's not going to look at you and say, oh, you're not being logical. You're not being solution oriented. So I'm not going to be, I'm just not going to solve the problem. Regardless of what you're doing or how you're operating, he's still going to lead with his masculine and he's going to step up and be the quote unquote bigger person in that area because that's what's expected of him. And he knows that's the value that he adds in your life. If a man were to step back and say, oh, I'm not going to give you this masculine energy because you're not bringing it, then you would look at him like, well, what is the purpose of you being here? In which way are you enhancing my life? How are you making things any better for me? What is the benefit of you being here? There's no reason, right? And unfortunately, a lot of men are starting to feel like that about you because instead of you embracing the feminine role and bringing in the balance, bringing in what is needed and necessary in those moments where feminine energy is necessary, you decide to respond in a more masculine way. And he already has that part covered. He doesn't need more of that, you know? So leading with your femininity, it doesn't make a difference if he's leading with it. He doesn't have to be open and compassionate and affectionate for you to be that way. You bring in that and he will act accordingly. And some men actually don't have a problem with leading in that regard where they're showing you how to communicate effectively, how to be gentle, how to be compassionate, how to be understanding, how to be a good listener, how to be more nurturing and affectionate. Some men will lead in that area sometimes if they're patient with you, if they feel like they understand your background and they just want you to get it, right? But that does not last forever. Men get tired of trying to show a woman how to be woman because you don't have to ask him to do those things. You don't have to ask him to be a good protector. You don't have to ask him to be a good problem solver. He just does that anyway because he embraces his role as a man and he wants you to be able to do the same without him having to ask you to be a woman. He doesn't want to have to ask you to be feminine. He wants you to actually do that because you take pride in it. You recognize the value in it. In order for you to do this, you have to understand the power in your feminine energy and know that you have the ability to transform a lot of these hostile negative situations into something beautiful. But you have to embrace that feminine role. You can't feel like it's weak or it's inferior because it isn't. And so once you start consistently embracing that feminine role in the relationship, regardless if you feel like you're being a bigger person or not, once you start bringing in, again, what is missing in many of these situations, which is your feminine energy, then it's going to let him know that you are serious about being a soft woman. You're serious about being nurturing. You're serious about being compassionate. You're not just there to just use him. You want to add value in his life too. So he's going to feel like you bring balance to his life. He's going to feel like you're going to be a good compliment to him. And he's going to know that he doesn't have to compete with you because there's not room for two kings in the castle. He's the king, you know? And so he wants to know that you enjoy being in your queen position and you're not trying to step up in his spot. So embrace the feminine role by leading with your femininity. That's the first thing you can start doing. The second thing that you can start doing is start initiating more conversations where you are being self-aware and holding yourself accountable for something that you know you did, even if he didn't mention it, even if he didn't say anything about it at all. What you don't want to do is start creating a habit and a pattern where he always feels like he has to come to you to tell you about yourself. It's only going to result in you feeling like you're being attacked all the time. It's going to result in you feeling like nothing you ever do is right. You're going to feel like he always has a critique or a complaint about me. And it's going to make him feel like, well, 
She doesn't consider me enough to come to me and apologize when she knows she's wrong. Men get tired of having these conversations. I know a lot of you feel like you, your man just wants to argue, but men get tired of having these conversations. He doesn't want to have to tell a grown woman right from wrong all of the time but he knows that if he doesn't say anything you're definitely not going to say anything so what is he supposed to do just let it slide just give you a pass just go by feeling disrespected or unappreciated and not say anything most men are not going to sit around and not address those type of problems and so instead of you creating that pattern where it's almost like you're walking on eggshells and you're just waiting to see oh god what is he going to complain about today you just beat them to the punch and you initiate the conversation. You be self-aware enough to reflect on your actions, your behaviors, your choices and say to him, you know what, babe, I'm not proud of how I handled that situation the other day. I know I could handle that a lot better. I apologize. I'm going to be better. And when you do that, you will notice a change in the way the two of you communicate with one another. Because one of the best ways to stop people from constantly pointing out all of your flaws and highlighting everything you do wrong is for you to hold your yourself accountable. When you have a hard time being self-aware, people feel like they have to put up a mirror to your face to show you yourself all of the time, right? And so the best way to get that to stop is for you to initiate that conversation on your own. Number three, start giving him recognition for the things that he does right and the things that he does well, especially in the areas in which he is giving you guidance. It does allow for a man's competence and his confidence in his role as a leader when he is receiving that feedback, meaning when he gives you a suggestion or recommendation or solution and you actually implement it, go back and tell him how it went. Let him know, hey babe, I did that thing that you told me to do and it worked out really well. I appreciate your efforts. I appreciate you taking the time to come up with that solution for me. You're a great critical thinker or blah, 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 blah. You know, just show him that you appreciate the things that he's doing, the value that he's adding into your life. Another very, very simple way to give your man recognition, and this is one that a lot of women have issues with, is to simply say the words to him, you were right. So let's say the two of you had a disagreement and you notice in the midst of the conversation that what he's saying is true, it's accurate. Stop going back and forth, stop competing and say, you know what, you're right. Or let's say you don't find out to the next day or the next week that he was correct about it. Go back to him and tell him, remember we were having that disagreement, that conversation last week? I found out that you were absolutely right. You were right, babe. Give him his props. Give him credit where credit is due. There's nothing wrong with doing that. It is not going to hurt you to do that. Don't be so prideful where you're just sitting there like, oh, no, I'm not going to admit that I'm wrong. It is not the end of the world. We're human. We're all wrong. Sometimes it's okay. But he will appreciate the fact that you are recognizing his value, his ability to be a critical thinker, his ability to be a strategic planner, and all of that stuff. But he's not going to know that you admire and appreciate his strengths and the value that he adds into your life if you're not saying anything about it. He needs to hear that. Men tend to stay and commit in areas where they are recognized, where they are getting appreciation, where they're getting admiration, because if they're not getting that, they're not going to stick around for long. Number four, you want to show interest in the things that he has interest in and show interest in him. So when your man is talking about something that he's passionate about, you want to match his passion. We're so quick to match energy when it's negative or cold or dismissive. But if your man's talking about something and you can hear the enthusiasm and the excitement in his tone and you can see it in his eyes, don't just sit there and just look at him like you're bored, like you don't want to hear anything that he's saying, that is going to make a man feel like you just don't support him, that you don't find him interesting at all. And after a while, he's going to start confiding in someone else that is going to share that same interest. It doesn't always have to be a female, but that means that he's just not going to come to you and you're going to miss that opportunity to connect with him, right? So that could look like you, showing interest could look like you asking questions, being curious, being inquisitive. It could simply look like you just being attentive and listening, being able to actually repeat back to him what he said. That is very important. Now, when it comes to showing interest in him, that means you want to make sure that you show him that you still desire him. You admire him. What happens, especially in relationships where you've been together with the same person for a very long time, you may start to lose interest in them. That doesn't mean that you don't love them anymore. It doesn't mean you don't care about them anymore. It doesn't mean you don't respect them anymore. It just means that things are just a little bit boring. Things are very dull. Things are a little routine. There isn't a lot of spontaneity. You feel like you know this person inside out 
right? And so what's going to happen is you're going to look at them differently. The way that you used to look at them, the way that you used to admire them, you don't look at them the same way. The way that you used to speak to them, you don't speak to them the same way. Your tone is different. The choice of words you use are different. The way you touch them or how often you touch them, maybe that's different. Maybe you don't initiate intimacy enough anymore you know so you want to show interest in him and let him know that you still desire him you still like him you still want to learn about him you still care about his well-being you still care about what he has going on in his life what he's doing what he's interested in asking questions and then really listening don't assume that you know what he's going to say don't assume that you already know what he has going on talk to him listen to him ask questions and again initiate intimacy touch your man more kiss him more show that you're interested in him. A lot of men feel like their women are not interested in them. Anything that they do, anything that they say, they feel like they just occupy the same space, but there isn't any real chemistry or connection there. So you can add that by showing interest. Number five, start reciprocating in a feminine way. Too often do women feel like reciprocation means that you need to do the exact same thing for him that he's doing for you. And it's not going to be the actions that you need to receive reciprocate it's going to be the effect of the actions that you need to reciprocate so let's say for example your man's actions show or prove that he is a good protector as a result of that you feel safe because of him right how do you make him feel safe that is how you reciprocate in which ways can you create a peaceful environment for him? In which ways can you create an atmosphere where he can come home and he can take off his cape, he can take off his armor, he can lower his shield, his guard, he doesn't feel like he's at war, he doesn't have to compete with anyone, where he has that peace of mind, that sense of ease, that sense of relaxation. Because that's how you feel when he protects you, when he makes you feel safe. You bring him that same feeling, but in a feminine way. Another example, let's say he assumes certain responsibilities responsibilities so that you don't have to stress yourself out about different problems. He just has it covered for you. You know, you don't have to think twice about certain things, right? In which ways do you do that for him? How can you reciprocate by making sure that there are certain areas that he doesn't have to think twice about? That might be what he's eating for dinner. He doesn't have to think twice about what he's going to eat for dinner because he knows you have it covered. He doesn't have to think twice about having clean clothes and laundry and everything because he knows you have it covered or it could be something completely different but just think about in which ways can you reciprocate the same feeling not necessarily the same actions number six make sure that you are demonstrating that the two of you are in sync and this relates to personal growth and development so for example let's say your man loves to learn he listens to a lot of podcasts he listens to a lot of audiobooks he likes to read right he's constantly taking in new information he doesn't want to come home to a woman that doesn't have anything to talk about except for reality tv or celebrity gossip or something foolish like that tell him what is something that you have learned today you want to make sure that you are also nurturing your intellect that shows that the two of you are on the same page you're growing together you are in sync another example let's say he comes home and he says you know what i want to start eating healthier i care about my well-being i care about nutrition i just want to get better physically you don't want to start coming home with mcdonald's that does not show that the two of you are in sync you don't want to just sit around and lay around and do nothing when he's getting up and going to the gym every day that does not show the two of you are on the same page. You want to make sure that if he's working on personal development and personal growth, that you too are adopting those principles. You are adopting some of those habits so that you too can grow together. Don't be intimidated by growth because I know some women are because it's a change in routine. It's a change in habit. And some women become fearful. Their insecurities kick in when you notice your partner changing things and you're unable to really support or be involved with that because you're thinking, well, that means that he's going to find me less interesting or he's going to be meeting new people or he's going to be spending time with other women. So your fears and anxieties and your insecurities prevent you from really um, being cooperative and moving forward with him. But you're you're going to get left behind if you don't get on board. Your man wants to know that he can win with you. He wants to know that he can succeed with you. He wants to know that he can reach new levels 
with the women that he chose. He wants to know that if something happens to him, everything that he built isn't just going to crumble to the ground. But if he has a woman that is not dedicated to growing and personal development and taking care of herself, then he's not going to have confidence in you as a partner if that's the type of time he's on. Number seven, and this is one that women dislike the most when I say it, but unfortunately, this is the reality of being with a mature masculine man. If you find there is a lack of intimacy, a lack of romance in your relationship, do not sitting around waiting for him to plan dates all the time. It is perfectly okay for you to plan dates. That doesn't mean you have to take him out and spend a whole bunch of money on him all the time. You can do a lot of sweet romantic things at home. But if you realize there is just that lack of connection between the two of you, you're not spending as much quality time together, then you are going to start feeling like he doesn't care about you. You're going to start feeling like he doesn't love you, like you're not a priority to him. And he's going to feel like you're nagging him all the time. He's going to feel like you're pressuring him all the time. He's going to feel like you don't appreciate the things that he already does do for you. He's going to feel like you don't respect the fact that he's productive or hardworking or focused or whatever. And so you can alleviate a lot of that from off of you and him by you just going ahead and initiating it. And it does not mean that that has to be a permanent thing. It doesn't mean that he isn't ever going to plan things sweet for you. The reality is though that mature masculine men are usually not focused on romance. They're usually focused on things like ownership, how to make more money, personal development, legacy, what they're going to leave behind for their children. They're usually focused on things like that. They're not sitting around thinking about ways to be sweet and loving and romantic. And unfortunately, so many women are misguided by the new fairy tale nowadays. And the new fairy tale is what you see on social media. Now, I love those beautiful pages of couples loving on each other and kissing on each other and, you know, the five love languages and all that stuff. I love it. I follow those pages almost every single time I see it come across my timeline because it's beautiful imagery. It's beautiful representation. It's hopeful, but it is not real. You know why it's not real? Because people that really prioritize quality time and affection and intimacy with their partners, they do not pull out a camera to do so. People that pull out a camera to do that, they're prioritizing social media, likes, views. Nobody says, hey babe, I did something sweet for you and I want to cuddle with you. I want to love up on you. I want to make you feel good today. I want to spend this time with you. But first, let's set up the camera. Nobody does that unless it's like a a freaky thing and then it's just for their eyes only you know but that is not real and unfortunately social media has romanticized masculine man in a way that it is unrealistic it's not real and that's not me saying anything bad about those videos and those reels and things because again I love them I think they're beautiful but you have to be smart enough to know what is real and what isn't and that is just not the reality masculine men are not sitting around thinking about ways to be sweet and romantic they're thinking about ways to be a better leader a better protector a better provider so don't be fooled by the new fairy tale be realistic and understand that there are going to be times where you're going to have to initiate that yourself so just let your man know hey babe can you please clear your schedule for this day i have something planned for us or when you come home this evening can you please hop right in the shower and then when you get out i want to do something special with you i have something planned for us he's going to appreciate that you put that much effort into it and then you will be getting that connection and that time with him that you desire when you think about feminine qualities and romance they go hand in hand you think about sweetness you think about affection you think about love you think about about care you think about a softness you think about all of that that is what comes with romance a lot of those men have no idea how to be very romantic some men if you tell them I want more romance they'll come home they'll slap you on the butt they give you a kiss on the cheek they'll offer to give you a back rub and two seconds into the back rub it turns into something else and now he's laying there satisfied thinking yes I've been romantic today and now you're laying there mad because the whole time you wanted flowers and a candlelight dinner on a balcony or something he has no idea idea right so it's okay for you to initiate that every once in a while again that doesn't mean that he isn't ever going to do it but don't sit around waiting on him to plan those days all the time it's not real what you see on social media it's not realistic those people get paid to do that so these are the seven things that you can start doing to improve your relationship now hopefully this helps peace and much love